Hey guys, it's uh, Cam here from Trimble. I'm here today to do another video for the No Design No Problem uh, series that we've got going on. And today we've got a really cool feature that we're going to show, and that's the ability for SiteWorks to actually export points directly to Earthworks. And in this case, today I've got an example where I need to go and create a V ditch. And with our infield design capabilities, typically in Earthworks, you either need to have the points already in the machine or you have to enter the coordinates of the points yourself or you have to actually go with the bucket or the blade and position them on the points of interest, record them and then use those points. That isn't always feasible or practical to be able to do and in this case we can actually use a rover uh, with SiteWorks to go and record the points and then uh, import those in and use those points for our uh, creation of the alignment. So let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, are excited about this new value that we can do now with Earthworks and SiteWorks in the field. Really helping with that, hey, no design, no problem. Because guess what? SiteWorks can actually export the whole project and the points. So you can actually have the machine run exactly in the same reference terms as site works and uh, it's pretty awesome so let's get into it and uh, let's go and check it out okay guys so we're here at the machine today we're going to be using this link belt and uh, what we've got is we've got a um, this open space behind the test site where we need to create a v-ditch from the top end and work our way all the way down through here and um, steve's out here doing some surveying so um, i'm going to call him over and um get him into it and um, tell him what we need to do. Hey Steve, you want to come over here mate? I need you. Okay guys, so this is Steve here, our expert of SiteWorks. Uh, Steve, what we need to do mate, is uh, we need to create a V-ditch up here yep. um, and work our way through the middle of this this field. Um, and I want you to do, if you can do uh, one side, then I'm going to come off and um, do my invert and come up yeah. within, within Earthworks. So, you can go and do that mate that'll be awesome and then i'll export it into perfect to we'll get you set up let's go all right so guys yeah we're just walking up to the top end um typically if we didn't have these points i would have had to tram the excavator up and it's just not not feasible here a little lighter less diesel this way yeah exactly more sustainable <laughs> right so yeah we're just working our way up here um to start okay so basically this job's pretty flexible we're at the top of the site this is a trimble building what we need to do is just create a v-ditch uh, running down through in here just to help with um, some of future work that we've got planned. So yeah, Steve, basically, mate, just starting about here and just working through the, the guts of, of this field. And uh, we'll be good to go. All right, we'll get you some points. All right, Cam, I think we got your uh, ditch edge laid out. And hey, with tilt compensation, I don't even have to worry about getting the pole straight. It makes it a lot faster and easier to use site works oh, that way. Oh, I bet, man, I bet, awesome, let's go. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I'm just coming back to Steve. I forgot the uh, USB flash drive, or otherwise called the cloud stick. Um, so here you go, Steve, mate. All right. So what Steve's gonna do now is um, basically export that project and points directly from SiteWorks into the USB, and then we'll be able to use that directly on the machine uh, inside of Earthworks. Yeah, so in SiteWorks, we added in version 1.5.0, we added a new option in the export to machine. There is a measured point export option, awesome. which will just take all of the points in your currently measured, uh, well, currently open work order. Yep. Just have to simply do that. It's going to write it in on a project library right into uh, on the USB stick. And you oh, should there just, we go. It's saved already. Yeah, there you go. Just go ahead, Cam. Plug sure. it on in and see how you get. Cheers, mate. All right. Hey, thanks, Steve, mate. So we've got the USB, guys. We're going to pop it in to uh, Earthworks here. It's going to detect it. And what we want to do is import files to machine from the USB. So we'll go there. Uh, the Android system is going to come up, so we've actually got to click um, the cloud stick there, hit select, uh, and then it's going to look 
for it and we want uh, projects and um, we've got the Trimble building demo so that's the, the project that Steve was in that I'm actually going to load on this machine and use so we just hit import and then uh, we just wait for that to get transferred across to the, um, the Earthworks system okay so here we go we're uh, getting close now to the end and what it's doing is going to be taking the whole project from SiteWorks with the coordinate system and the points and everything and um, putting it directly in, in Earthworks. So file import successful, awesome. Hit OK. Now we want to go and uh, select that project. So we go to machine, uh, or job setup, sorry. And then we can come in here and select the Trimble building demo. And yeah, we don't have a design selected because hey, no design, but now no problem because we're actually going to go and create one. Um, but we need to go into mode for infield design and um, go through here and start the creation process. So we're going to go create and we're going to do an alignment with section. And then we're going to actually, uh, it's loading that project in the background now. So we're going to go and use it from points. Um, so hit points and then you just use the normal process that you normally would so we go uh, add the first point and um, these are all the points here um, that we created um, and I think you used no design no problem did you as a um, as a filter yep those are the ones I called all the points ditch so ditch. Yep, starting yep. with the first one would be ditch and then yeah one through so you X. can see by uh, if I go all points there's actually other points in that project as well that we're not going to use we're just going to use the um, the no design no problem points and then we just select I guess uh, Steve the ditch was the first point the first point yeah yep. so just yep. hit that hit select and then you just go through the process of uh, adding the second point and it's going to be uh, ditch one and we just carry on through and um, select all the points that we want to use now I noticed Steve that you used quite a few points so we might actually skip a few mm -hmm. um, we don't need to go every um, one that you did for this example so we're going to go to ditch four you can see here that the alignment's starting to be created So there, this is our alignment. Um, we're going to look at the elevation, and then um, what you can do with the infield design. If we wanted to, which we are going to do, is between these two points that are highlighted, the, f the first point and the last point, we can actually smooth it out to make sure that uh, there's a nice smooth grade between all those points. So, and that's just a matter of hitting, hitting that guy. It's um, with the scale you can't see it too much, but that's an, a nice smooth, um, constant grade between all the points but we're going to follow follow that alignment that Steve had um, created. So then we just go next and here we can um, now we're going to create the section or the, the template that will hang off that line. So we go we're going to do it on screen and just for this case here we're just going to do a nice um, just a V ditch here like this. The, the intent of this video is just to show you the process, not the actual specific. We're not engineers, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so what we wanted to do is I wanted to tie um, the, that first point on the alignment that's, that Steve created. But that's that's the V-ditch that we want to create for this example. We hit next. And then here, what you can do is you can change the point at which it aligns. So that's, that's what we want to do. You can um, make it go off the center. Uh, you can see here you can you've got a little 3d view you can you can look at but we want to actually tie that that section or template off of that um, the first point so we can um, just move it over so that's the on the left that that lines what Steve just walked and then we just hit apply that we're good with that that's our design so we want to select it and then we want to load it and then here you can see that um, guide, um, the Earthworks has started up here with the guidance views and it says that we're off design and that's correct because um, 
our designs up out through there so what we can do is we can just zoom out and you can see here that that's our design that uh, we just created so i'm going to move the machine over and then show you um, actually there in the dirt what it looks like okay guys so yeah we've got the uh, machine over to the design so now we can actually start building it so we hadn't we didn't have to go and walk through and uh, record all the points with the machine we've used steve with sideworks to import them in awesome that was a lot more fuel efficient and sustainable <laughs> like steve said um and yeah so what we can do is i can rotate around a little bit and you can see here the design it's a v-ditch you can see the points that steve walked is on the edge of the design like we'd asked him to and um we can also go into this view here where you can actually see the design overlaid on the site with the ar camera so that's another little benefit if you've got uh, the AR camera, you can visualize the design overlaid with the site that, and what you can see out the window with the camera that's on the machine. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this, this video and um, that's another video for no design, no problem, where now we can actually use Cyworks to get it to the point uh, without having to tram the machine to every single point and um, for our infield design for the alignment creation so thanks guys and uh, we'll see you later